Welcome to 99 Seconds with Neil, Episode 1. This is a new video series in which we take a look back to the previous week's blog post and spend 99 seconds, give or take, reviewing two blog posts of the week, uh, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. Today's blog post is, um, that we're going to review it was called Sitting on a Bench with Jesus. Now, obviously, I am sitting on a bench. I am alone, presumably. But what this blog post represented was a picture that was posted and on it there was a gentleman sitting on a bench, Jesus was sitting on the other side, and the gentleman asked Jesus, why do you let famine, disease, war exist in the world? And Jesus' answer, which I thought was rather profound, was that's interesting you bring that up. I was just about to ask you the same question. Now there's been some debate if this was exactly the vernacular Jesus would use, but to me that's not the point. To me what it's saying is a lot of us look for other people or supreme beings to blame and say, why do you allow this to happen? Why do you let this to happen? But all the free will that men, if I say men, I mean humankind, have is what really allows it to happen. In our daily life, if you see somebody being bullying and you allow it to happen, you don't do anything, you're allowing that culture to exist. Even if you do do things when you see it, you know, when there's an example of racism, for example, which I think is an almost comically archaic uh, practice in this day and age. But if you see that happening and you don't do nothing, you're allowing it to happen and you're part of the problem. So what's the solution? Because that's what this website and this uh, YouTube channel is all about. The solution to me is to worry about our own corner of the world. Sure, we might be upset that, you know, over the course of the globe and maybe the current political regime fosters some division and hate amongst people and we would love to fix that but nothing short of campaigning ourselves for a leader of our country or some elected office which I do encourage you to do but taking care of our own little corner of the world when you somebody see somebody of a different culture be welcoming to them learn about their culture you know when you see bullying educate the people involved or step in and encourage the person being bullying and you might think well that'll make a difference just to those one people or in my little corner of the world but imagine if everybody did that in their own little corner of the world just everybody helped two people three people whatever it was if they just took care of their little corner of the world that would be the whole world if everybody did that so I think it's very important and the best way to be a catalyst of change is to just focus on your little part of the world. You know, be nice to the people you meet. Try to make your world as wonderful as it can be, and you would be part of the solution. And if everybody did that, the world would be amazing. So I wanna know when you're out there doing it, the important thing to remember from all of us at Secret to an Amazing Life, to all of you out there, remember, the light at the end of the tunnel may be you.